Hello, this is Frodo, and you're watching the 14th episode of Santa Filomena, uh, in which you're not gonna see me actually buy a tile uh, because there's been a mishap recording this 14th episode. I actually recorded it uh, a couple of weeks ago, but it turns out uh, most of the episode wasn't actually recorded. There must have been a problem with my uh, video recording software which is a bit annoying, but then I realized that there isn't that much that got lost because I'm, I i didn't see it at the time, but the, fir the 13th episode is kind of a mix of the 13th episode and about a quarter of episode 13th that I recorded back then. But now I uh, decided to want to go ahead because the game obviously kept saving the, the new development so I wasn't really able to go back and I wouldn't have in any case so as you might have seen a glimpse of at the beginning I uh, really developed the new district that's further down the violin and it's a district uh, that I remember seeing in the previous episode that I wanted to be quite wealthy and so developments in this 14th episode went quite well for this new place uh, the th thing is uh, at the beginning I don't know if you've, you're gonna notice that but I felt like I was kind of lacking inspiration for a bit so I just warmed the streets and went through different districts to see what where there was something to do or not or if I would get inspired to change stuff or create new things and um, it eventually came but it took me a while to get back into the game because it was actually as I said over two weeks ago that I recorded previous games and so I really had to get into the game again um, I had almost forgot that I put this very high uh, skyscrapers in the city uh, the modern city center and I'm not really sure if I should keep them I'm not fully satisfied with them because they are so freaking tall compared to the rest of the regular tall buildings in the modern city center that uh, I'm not sure if uh, visually it looks visually nice I, I might need to uh, get some new modes of very high skyscrapers as well to um, not make them look uh, as lonely I would guess I would say uh, compared to the rest of the uh, modern center skyline uh, there's been a few uh, garbage issues in this episode as well, that's why I decided I would put some more uh, garbage uh, landfills places as well. Um, I put them in places I didn't think I would before, but then I realized maybe I can't really have it working properly if I only have them in the new industrial district, which I still haven't come up for with a name for. So. If you have so many suggestions for that, you're very welcome to make them. But right now, um, I don't know, I've just been focusing on other things. Maybe when I will be recording the next episode, I will take the time to rename it and eventually give it a random name or something if I don't have any proposition for this. So, as you can see and as I was telling you about earlier, this is a new district I've been developing. Uh, mainly residential, few schools, parks, but that's pretty much it. Um, I thought I would make it pretty with s nice little pathways along the beaches and some um, little uh, props, I think you call that props, uh, on the beaches as well and uh, by the roads. You're gonna see me put these later on. I took a bit of time to actually work on the very small stuff in this episode and this is not the only part where you're gonna see me doing that uh, I'm gonna do that later uh, by the district where the university used to be because I noticed that there was uh, some um, terrain um, like holes um, once again that I need, needed and I needed to deal with and as I was saying in the previous episodes, the violin has now become 
uh, mainly residential districts as well, lots of residential zones, had to uh, rework the roads because they used to be like dirt roads, uh, which I think are usually are best for industrial zones. But obviously, because this is not the case anymore, it's might as well put actual proper roads for this place to be functional. And I think I'm gonna gain. It helped me gain quite a lot of new inhabitants because I think by the end of the episode we are almost at 65,000, which is not too shabby. Because when you think about a previous episode, remember. Rem you remember about the previous episode I lost over half of the inha inhabitants that I used to be before the first earthquakes um, and I was suspecting it to be one of the reasons that it might, ha might have happened was uh, in my opinion uh, the garbage issues but I, 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 I wasn't really able to pick a specific reason I think there's quite a few different things that could have caused this to happen and uh, that's one of the reasons why I've decided to put some more landfills uh, on in different parts of the city and I was telling you early, uh, a few a few seconds ago about earthquakes this episode saw some new ones as well and I uh, spe specifically edited this episode differently to see the the, the power of how massive it was like right now it's not the speeded up time it's the actual time of the game and you can see the place like shaking so much and I was kind of worried that this very, the very high skyscrapers would actually collapse a 9-11 style <laughs> but, but it turned out to be quite resistant the issue with that these earthquakes that you don't really notice as um, because they're not they don't happen as plain fully as they would for tsunamis is that the city gets somehow destroyed as well and it's something that it's very subtle you can only notice that later on when you work specifically on different districts and I found out when I was especially working on this new monorail line that once I got to the city center quite a few streets in the modern city center were actually damaged by these various earthquakes and in a very bad state some streets actually were destroyed and non-functional at anymore so I had to rebuild them and this is something I wouldn't have noticed if I had not uh, taken the time to work on this new monorail line and that that will that will lead to the center it's not gonna lead to the first monorail line but it's gonna be a um, parallel um, big uh, avenue in the center and I decided because um, as I'm just you may have noticed uh, I did for the was it the, the fairy lines to give them a character names from different shows that I watch and the sort of fairy lines I did um, I did give Amy and Sheldon Sheldon names from the big the big Bang theory and um, for the monorail lines I decided I would give them names of Outlander characters I don't know if you've seen this you absolutely love it it's on Netflix and so the two the main two characters are called Claire and Jamie so I, th uh, I thought I would give the moral monorail lines these names so yeah now we're getting to the bit uh, where as I was telling you some streets were quite destroyed and not functional anymore no, n not very much traffic happening on these places at all before you take care of them and uh, get them uh, to work properly to be used again I'm 
I have to check in the next episode if I uh, destroyed some bus lines because obviously I've been working on quite a substantial part of the center with uh, this new monorail line and so I think some bus lines might have been affected by this I'm thinking these are going to be much uh, more useful and um, actually helpful for workers and any inhabitants of the city to use and uh, to move within the city with and thanks to because um, as I took a look at the numbers for the ferry lines, which is something you're going to see me doing in a few moments, I really wasn't satisfied at all and I uh, thought I might need to uh, actually cancel and delete uh, the, the, the Amy line at least, because the other line, which is uh, on the other side, know what is a little island in the park district, uh, is actually functional even though not many people take it. At least there's a few people that actually use it, but Amy, which is going through uh, the, the river, much closer to the modern center, is not used at all. So it's, I think it was not a good idea to actually put it there. Maybe it's too small a line to be actually functional, but then because the archi archipelago on its whole, on the whole, is so large and has so many islands, I um, might be able to make much better use of the ferries later on uh, in the series than uh, doing it right now. This is, I think, the moment where I took the time to uh, make the park by the former university district prettier by uh, putting uh, props, if, if, if this is how you call them. I never remember if it's not you plop um, elements like benches and stuff. But you don't actually use the term prop in City Skyline games, do you? I, I, don't, I don't remember, I need to, to check on some tutorials again. But yeah, I plopped some um, like urban furniture here and there. Like lights, benches, um, a few food trucks as well. Because I found them quite cute. And um, a few, uh, how you, you call this, sand sandboxes or oh, sand playgrounds you know for children to play in the sand um, which are going to be I think closer to the main avenue with the big traffic but I really uh, en well, enjoy this place I'm uh, not sure if enjoy is the proper term because it's not actually a place where I go and where I get to be <laughs> but uh, I'm quite glad with what I uh, what I well I'm quite glad to be having it in the center like this and quite happy uh, with what I'm doing with it even though it's been going through quite a few changes 
now I went back to the new industrial district and I was trying to extend it because as you can see at the bottom of the screen the industrial needs bar was getting higher and I'm realizing that I wish this district was a bit bigger or maybe I didn't plan it for enough industries and factories to be um, to be residing there but um, after a while it's uh, it's it's definitely not gonna be enough I mean we've seen it with the landfills and with the factories that on on, this, on such a large map we, we can't have such such a small area for industries so I'm thinking maybe on the other big island across um, the the main city we're probably gonna have to create another industrial district and now as I was checking the ferry lines I have been trying to see from the first person camera how it would look like and I really didn't like it so I just stopped a few seconds after afterwards um, I know there's a mode and I've seen video of these on YouTube where you can get to quote ride public transports but with like a good looking camera and the cameras, well, I saw these at least for, for buses. The cameras stand on top of the bus and you can see the whole line, it's quite nice. And I wish I could have this with the ferries. But it turns out that the first person camera that I have as a mode right now in the game is not the same as the one I saw on uh, the bus ride a video that I saw on YouTube. I mean, it looks nice on the monorail as we've tried before in previous episodes and as I'm trying right now but for some transport like the bus and um, and the ferries it's not good so I'm suspecting that it might there might be because there's at least another first person uh, camera mode that I have not installed in my game yet and that I should because it, it, it obviously, it looks very fun to be trying the different bus lines in your city with the first uh, person view. And it's something I would like find so much fun that I would even probably release separate, like special videos of those uh, views apart from the games themselves. But yeah, as you can see for the monorail, it looks properly fine, like it's like the proper view I would like to have have had with the ferries. And so right now, as you saw a few moments ago, we are riding the Jamie line, I think, yeah, the Jamie line, which turns out to be, well, it's, it's not very <laughs> difficult to guess, much longer than the first line, Claire, which was only going through a couple of station in the modern center but because this is connecting two districts that are quite not quite far apart but, but th that have quite a distance between the two uh, obviously it's going to be longer and there's uh, I think four stations that are built there and that's how uh, we're going to leave this 14th episode as usual, thank you very much for watching and following it. You're very welcome to like and subscribe for notifications about the forthcoming episode, which should come out very soon. And, um, well, I'll see you later for more adventures on this very beautiful archipelago of Santa Filomena. Bye-bye!